power to my Lord. Hallelujah. My name is Prophet David Richard, all the way from uh, Tanzania. For those that know me, God bless you. I am the spiritual son of our father, Prophet Ed. And um, you see, it's been a while people have seen me around my father, but today he has given me an opportunity to actually, I beg you that I may come and testify the goodness of the Lord. I wanna and appreciate my father. Father, thank you so much for her, for giving me this um, opportunity to acknowledge your God publicly. Hallelujah. You see, I am a testimony of this grace. This grace works. I came here the first time in my life in 2016. I was a nobody. Nobody knew me. Even angels in heaven perhaps they did not know me. A nobody. But when I gave my life to Jesus, the only man that God allowed me to come and see from Tanzania was him. I remember my father when I met him the first day. He accepted me the way I was. This is in 2016. And God had already told me I was a prophet, but I needed confirmation. I needed somebody that does not know my background, doesn't know who I am, to confirm. And the only anointing, anointing that I, I saw that was something that I could accept easy was the anointing of our father. I, I looked at how genuine it is. An anointing that was not trying but it was doing. And Papa, thank you so much. Now may your God be honored. Since then, I came back in 2019, the second time that's when God told me to open my ministry, Angel of God Ministry. And I opened my ministry. It's been a few years, but I can testify and say that this anointing can elevate a person. Hallelujah. I don't know about you, I don't know what testimony you have, but with me, my testimony is great. It shook a nation, it, it surprised families, generations. When a nobody is honored by a nation, when a, I like what Papa always says, says for Koro. I was skinny, I was black, I was ugly. Nobody could sit with me for two minutes. The anointing or the, the preaching did not resemble the anointing. You're preaching to people that don't see what you're saying. But when I came in 2019 to fully submit to the God of our Father. I remember I, I was in debts. I was in financial issues. I was, I was, my life was scattered. I was confused. But he told me the name of my ministry, which God had already told me, Angels of God Ministries. And then he said, from this day, go. Child of God, I'm not here for me today. I'm here for him. I'm here to honor him. You know, there are people that come to church to receive. Today I came to give honor. Hallelujah. But it, I told him it will, not be, it will not be fair that I only tell him how God has been doing. And he sees and he knows. But I cannot acknowledge it publicly. I said, today, let me tell the world. I met a man. I love God so much, but I also understand submission. Submission is what brought me this far. Perhaps if I was following or doing 
the things I was doing alone, I wouldn't be here today. You see, the process of God is long. It is a long process. But when you encounter somebody that has been through that process, the journey becomes short. And Papa, I'm here to just tell you that there is a nation. There is Tanzania. I'm here for my nation. I'm not coming here to ask for another elevation of finances. I'm not here to ask for prophecy. You know me, I never ask for prophecies. I've never, when even we go to the gym, I never ask for prophecies. There is a nation. My heart is heavy. We need this grace. We need a grace that can tell somebody's dreams. We need a grace that can tell somebody where they are going and where they came from. I need this grace, Papa, not for me. You is enough for me, but my people who cannot reach you, who cannot reach the God of this altar, there are people that are dying, Papa. The devil is cutting short destinies. There is a nation that is crying, a sleeping giant called Tanzania. Your grandsons and granddaughters, they need this grace. I'm here to pray for my nation, Papa. I'm here to pray for East Africa. We have seen great men of God coming from the southern part of Africa. It's now time we see people being raised by God from East Africa. And that is why I always, our biggest fight is that when are you coming to Tanzania? When are you coming? That is the only fight I have with him. I want him. The nation is hungry. When, I, when we were about to do a conference a few months ago, people came from America to see the Kurotiki. I pray that Tanzania may be touched. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You see, you people are blessed. We take, we take flights. We buy tickets. We book accommodations. Just for Sunday service. Just so that I may touch his feet. Hallelujah. I believe I saw my brother Dinesh. He comes from India. Je, uh, Jesus, the Jesus Church, you are blessed. You see, you might take my words lightly, but when you are in a position like mine, when you know that when you encountered, I encountered my Moses, it's only Moses. If you listen to Moses, you're coming out of Egypt. The Bible says God came down and said, I've come to set my people free. But I'm sending you Moses. There is a Moses in Zimbabwe. <laughs> Hallelujah. I don't know about you, but I am here to honor my father. And I'm here to pray. Papa, I'm not asking for money. I'm asking for I'm not even asking for me. Give me what I will take to my people. Food for my people. That's it. Not for me, Papa. For my people. People that cannot reach here. Let's take this there. I want to be the ambassador of this anointing in my nation. Thank you, Dad. Thank you so much. Hallelujah. Come. Amen. Tanzania is already blessed. East Africa is already blessed. Give me three days of your life this time and what you have asked for from the Lord shall be granted to you. Only three days. Everything you ask for right now as you are kneeling in the altar shall be given to the both of you for your people for your nation 
the Lord has heard you and all I require is three days of your life. Father, let the journey begin now. In Jesus' name.